guys this is your girl Kate Rose and welcome back to my channel thank you thank you thank you thank you for everyone who are new here I thank you so much for stopping by and indulging in my content for all my faithful subbies and my K Rose family thank you so much for tuning in again don't forget to tell your friends um and tell everyone subscribe to my channel like uh this is what I do this is what I live for like I've been waiting for this moment for so long like you guys don't even know this particular video is actually a beauty haul. It's some things that I've picked up uh, within um, from the last since the last time we've been together, and I just want to share them with you. Like this channel is like a share my world. I feel like merge it back, like share my world. Um, I promise I'm trying to get a schedule together of where I can record and upload. I just want to make content that you guys want so that I can be a better K Rose for you like without you guys I would not be doing this and enough of this rambling let's just get right to this video yeah that's right babe that's right babe that's right babe yeah that's right babe that's right babe Right, babe. Uh. I went to three stores, Sephora, Ulta, and Target, and I ordered one brand new eyeshadow palette off of line. I think what I am going to do, I'm going to start, I'm going to start with what I ordered off line, then I'll go to the more higher things. This is the Juvia's, the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. I've heard, listen, these people are amazing at what they do when they make these palettes, like literally. I do have the Juvia's Place the hair and palette as well as the Masquerade palette. These, this one and the Nubian 1 palette was Juvia's Place's first palette that they came out with. It is a black owned company. And I hear so much about this palette from my girl Lyric Rochester. If you don't know her, you better get to know her. She um, is on YouTube. I believe her name is Jamaican Makeup Artist. She is the bomb.com. So all my subscribers, if you haven't heard of her, go subscribe to her channel. She is nothing but the truth. So I ordered this offline because like I said, I've used I'm just dropping trash and stuff. I'll get it later. As a woman, I will want to use a product that has like a queen representation on their stuff because it makes you feel like, damn girl, this could be me. Like that's me. That's I'm queen. Okay. They do not disappoint whatsoever. So this is what it looks like. Like look at that shimmer. I'm, let me just test one of these colors. This is what I ordered offline, and I urge you to um, follow Jamaican makeup artists because I actually saw one of her videos when she was doing one of her beauty hauls, and she picked up the, I believe it was the Nubian One palette, and she has like codes for you guys to use, and I believe the codes go to another artist, makeup artist that she supports by the name of Fumi, who was absolutely amazing. Like she is queen. I saw. Lyric, I mean, I'm sorry, I don't know why I keep calling her Lyric, but I follow her literally on every social media, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat. So I always see her videos, and like, she does not disappoint, like, her slay game is A1. So, go cop this. My next thing I want to talk about is things that I purchased from Target, but this is the e.l.f. Um, blurring brush. It's a selfie ready foundation blurring brush. I hear a lot of people like sleep on these brushes because they're what they would call like drugstore or low end brushes, but they do wonders. And I just had to go cop me some. So I got actually two of the same brush. I got a powder brush and I also have an angled contouring brush that I will use specifically for my nose. And speaking of, yes, contour on point. Thank you. 
I also picked up the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. If you guys are familiar with Miss Mitra B, the the perfect Southern Belle, like she's everything. We always talk about this cream liner. So this is in the color Espresso, and this is how it looks. Next up is uh, Alta. I don't know who I like better, Alta or Sephora. I would have to be definitely a Sephora girl. That store, like literally, every time I go into that store, I get sucked in. I went in there for one thing and came out with so much more stuff. Like some people have retail therapy and they go shopping for shoes and clothes. Like my retail therapy is definitely makeup because it's always room for more i'm gonna just go through the things that i got from ulta first is the it superhero mascara i had this in a travel set and this is like 96 percent said lashes look stretched 96 percent saw dramatic volume and length 96 percent saw plumper looking lashes and 100 percent saw a fuller lash go get your sign so back and barrel mascara okay so the next thing that I actually got from Ulta, the uh, Tarte Precision Longwear Liner. I heard this thing is like magic. Let me just try it right now. But that thing is a... Okay, on to the next. I can't. So, the next thing that I want to show you guys is the Shake Tape Concealer. This is in deep. Shout out to my girl, Brianna Marie. Hey, Brianna! All the way from D.C. Listen, me and my girlfriend, we sit and watch Brianna Marie like every freaking day. We be like, oh my God, she is beating the shit out of her face. Look at her. She be like, dad. She slays, okay? Like, comes with like a lipstick, I, like the lipstick fluffy thing. I always hear all my beauty gurus talking about, talking about it. So I just had to get it. The next thing that I also got from Ulta was the Ben a uh, Cabral Cream Gel Brow Color by Benefit. This is what the packaging looks like. It comes with a a little brush this is what it looks like okay this thing is 24 hour it lasts 24 hours and it's waterproof go take a dip in the water like this is water i've never used a waterproof gel i mean brow gel also picked up the it cosmetics also, their bye-bye under eye. Um, this is a full coverage anti-aging post. Waterproof concealer. They say it's eight hours of sleep in a tube. So that has to be like super serious. Now we're getting to the things that I got from... Oh, also, I missed this. I also got from Target the black radiant press powder this is ebony this is rich mahogany I use these strictly for contour i actually learned to use these from my girl nini today i picked this up from her because she was using these things to contour her face and her contour was like heaven okay i highly recommend these to contour and they have them pretty much in all shades i have like six of them already in different shades and I was just you know adding two okay so back to Sephora the first thing I picked up was the Smashbox photo finish primer water and this is the travel size and it's supposed to refresh hydrate skin for hours revitalize Complexion to boost radiant. You can use it as a primer before makeup application as a sweater and as a setting spray to lock on your look or as a refresher to wake up your makeup. So, let me spray it. 
Oh my gosh, it's, wait, it smells, it smells amazing. Like, it has a fresh cucumber, maybe floral, I don't know, I'm not going to smell. But it smells absolutely amazing. So, I went to MAC, picked up the MAC Match Master Foundation. This foundation has SPF 15. This is in 8.5. I've never been a MAC girl unless it's lipstick, um, liners, mascara, skin finish. I've never been, never used their foundation. I'm definitely so, like, it looks so good on my skin. And I'm absolutely pleased with it. It did wonders on me today, as you can see. And I'm, I'm so... And I also picked up Max uh, Pro Longwear Concealer. This is, well, is this cream? Okay, yeah, concealer. And this is in NC45. I also picked up the Kat Von D Locket Concealer. The next thing that I actually got, the Laura Mercier. This is the Radiant Foundation Primer. I naturally go for primers that are that can deal with dry skin and oily skin because I usually get oily in my T-zone area. Like, I get really oily, oily up in here. And I also, like, have some dryness sometimes on my cheekbones and under my chin. I try to get primers that just, that, that covers everything. And to be honest with you, I really find a primer that can do both. If you guys know of any primers that I can use or any suggestions or anything that I can do so that I don't, is is not such a hassle for me to try to find, please do leave them in the description box down below. I will greatly try them out and give a review on it to see how it works for my skin. Next thing that I picked up was the, shout out to my girl, Brianna Marie, once again. I picked up the Translucent Loose Setting Powder. When Laura Mercier dropped this medium deep powder literally i was watching again brianna marie i watched her on wednesday the next day i was in sephora picking this up and as you can see this is practically brand new i haven't even opened it yet so i'm excited to try this out and uh we will see so the next product listen when this company broke this foundation out youtube went bananas it is the lancome tint idol ultra 24 listen this thing says up to 24 hours first thing let me say i was a little disappointed because for the price this is how much you get let me do it this way this is how much you get this retails about 50 bucks they promise a 24 hour wear with this foundation full coverage it's retouchable girl it's for all skin types velvety matte finish it is oil free and fragrance free Transfer resistant, like I've never had a foundation that did not transfer. Friction resistant, suitable for sensitive skin. All imperfections visibly disappear with their velvety finish. You love up to 24 hours of less perfection and comfort. And never cakey, ladies. I know y'all feel for a, a, a honey, a cakey face. We don't do. I'm in the shade 555. To C and that's S U E and the letter C. I'm just so excited to use this. I could not go the rest of the year without getting my hands on this. So I got this, and the one that I was going to get was the Clinique two and one foundation concealer. My mind is going drink. Ugh, drawing blanks today. I don't know what's going on. You guys can recommend um, some more foundations and some things that you want me to uh, do in my videos. Please let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys this video was helpful. These are some of the things that I just picked up and this is my personal beauty haul. 
I really do appreciate each and every one of you who take your time out to indulge in my content. Um, and I'm so glad that we are doing this. And I'm like I said in the beginning of the video, I am trying to pick a day of the week. I want to upload at least twice a week for all my um subscribers, but because this is this is kind of new. For me, it's kind of hard to do, but I thank for all the encouragement, those who are supporting me, who is, like, praying for me and keeping me, and this is my vision, and I'm so glad that I get to share my vision and share my passion. And please don't forget to follow me on all social media outlets. I am Forever K Rose underscore on Instagram, uh, Forever K Rose on YouTube, as you can see, and also I am Forever, uh, I'm sorry, Plus Size Doe on Snapchat. I will soon change that but if you go to snapchat and you put in my um i guess it's not my username but um i can't think of what it is but it does say forever k rose if you actually go to look at my um profile picture and i want to leave you with this no matter the shape no matter the color no matter the form we are all beauty and art so but you already knew that you already knew that, girl